Hello guys and welcome to episode 24 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as Tomb Kings on very hard difficulty and today we're starting off with a battle against Quick Quick Head Taker uh, with our ga settlement garrison. Uh, we're just going to be jumping into this to do as much damage as we can. Uh, maybe I'll be able to get my Nehekara horsemen into the Poison Wing Glob of Deers, which would be good. Maybe do some damage. Although those are technically anti-large, but I think it's mostly their missiles that are anti-large rather than their melee attacks. So we should be okay with that. Um, yeah, this kind of sucks that we're at war with Clan Moors. I probably shouldn't have put my back to them, but it's fine. Uh, we will work it out with our armies anyway. Let's uh, jump in. So we have Cetra and... Um, our other army sort of in the back line so that's okay and we have three pretty strong armies that can come down from the north however I do definitely want to get rid of the Pirates of Sartosa otherwise they're going to constantly keep attacking me from the north which will be very annoying but yeah we have a an extra army coming down in the meantime uh, let's see we've got carry on here Let's uh, make sure they're out of the way. We're going to have our Nehekara horsemen move up into the forest as well. Uh, everything else can just be uh, lined up in the choke. And uh, we will try and make best use of that. So I might just go like three units of spearmen initially. And we'll move some more to the right if we have to. Alright, good. That'll do. That's everything done. It looks like they might send some to the right. Poison Wing Globideers are actually at the front of their formation, which kind of sucks because I wanted to be able to get into them with the Nehekara Horsemen. Uh, but it uh, looks like they're going to be well out of the way, which is uh, going to be hard to deal with. So it's really going to be up to my archers to shoot those before they get in range. Otherwise, we could be in a bit of a sticky spot. We do have more range than them. Um, oh, those are clan rats. Uh, oh, that's not good either. We need to make sure we turn off our skirmish. All right, so I'm going to just put the attack orders on and what we're going to do is just run forwards with the skeleton spearmen to sort of cater for that because we want to get our shots off as soon as possible we also want to be engaging as soon as possible so the poison wing blubber deers can't actually do much Some more clan rats? <laughs> really? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> well, I'm going to get my Nehekara horsemen to come round. We are starting to do some decent damage, which is good. Oh, we also have the carrion that can come in and attack them. So that's fine. Let's get the skeleton spearmen to back up the front line. Especially on this right side. And the Nehekara warriors can just kill off the clan rats. So I'm hoping that we can just avoid some of the missiles coming out of those guys. Go straight into these poison wing globadiers. Yeah, this kind of sucks. We're going to get surrounded pretty hard.
Goddamn clan rats spawning in my arches all the time. Right, how's the carrion doing? Need to make sure that I finish off those guys for sure. So far, we're actually not doing too bad. Both spimming on their own are kind of suffering, but otherwise we're okay. So target there, range forces. And again, more clan rats, guys, more clan rats. Right, we're second Realm of Souls tier, so that should buff us up a little bit for a little while. Don't know why it's taking so long to kill off these Poison Wing Globideers, I mean... Ideally, I want to be charging into the back of this infantry, but... Looks like we can't just yet. Currently, these Nehekara Warriors are probably doing quite a lot of damage to the Plague Monks and stuff. That looks pretty cool. Oh, there's another unit of clan rats. Surprise! Come on, just kill these guys off already. I swear units are just so bad at like running people down these days. Like in medieval and like Rome. The original Rome, Total War. You used to be able to, like, do, like, so much work with uh, cavalry just running people down. Because, like, you'd have, like, a trample effect, I, I swear. But with these ones, nope. Oh, never a thing. Okay. Right, we got to Shabti anyway. Uh, where do I want to bring them in? I'll probably bring them in with our leader. Uh, just so that we maintain our leader unit here. Right, the Nehekara horsemen pretty much done their job. What's the bet, even though there's only like three remaining, that uh, they will still keep them? Trying to finish off these guys. Let's just get the Nehekara horsemen to attack those. We'll have the carrion come over here. Uh, the Ashabti are dead. Well, they didn't last half as long as I thought they would. Maybe it's because they were surrounded the whole time. Probably shouldn't have put them into like the middle of the formation. That was probably not the best idea. But our front line's just collapsing, so there we go. It just disappeared. Go on, Carrion, take them out. I feel like my Nehekara warriors could have done a lot of work, but uh, they didn't. Oh, I turned off... I just realised. I turned off uh, Fire at Will instead of Skirmish. It's not the first time I made that mistake. God damn. Okay, well, I'm hoping that uh, he lost his Poison Wing Globideers. Um, everything else I don't really care about. Because he'll just replenish anyway. So I'm hoping that I did my job there. One of them survived with three health. Like, three units. That's just silly. Guess we're going to get attacked at Kuezotl. We do have walls there, though. So that's not so bad.
Uh, the Gene Kingdoms would like a defensive alliance. They join the war against Clan Moors. Then sure. <laughs> They're like, military alliance is dead. <laughs> um, join war against the clan Moors and go for some money. Wow, okay. They actually declined that straight up. Never mind then. Right, what I'm going to do, guys, is... Go for the Great Incantation of Tsar, which will make any Clan Moors armies in our lands get hit by attrition. So let's go ahead and do that. And now it's time to maybe take this land. I mean, we can... We could just move down here and take, like, you attack. I'm pretty sure that's the capital of the of Clan Moors. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. Whoops. Just going to make sure that I'm not taking attrition. <laughs> okay. So, King Rakash is uh, zooming down here to help us. And King Wakaf is moving this towards Zandri. Let's just get him into Zandri itself. Right, then we're going to have King Setup move up towards the Pirates of Sartosa. Hmm. Maybe not, if we're going to end in attrition, that's probably not the best idea. Oh well. It should be fine. Settlement upgrades available. We just want to get our walls built, especially at the Serpent Coast, but uh, I think we're a bit late for that. So I'm just going to leave that be. Um, it looks like we'll lose the Serpent Coast, but so be it. guess it might be worth just building the walls at uh, the Lost Plateau and upgrading Kalak Zorn before they sort of jump over there and take it. That would be rather frustrating wouldn't it? Uh, Prince Sekov is getting into position and honestly next time he's going to salt the units of Boilrin here. I mean honestly like our army is probably good enough to destroy theirs but we're just going to decline the attack and let them continue the siege because there's no need to do that just yet um, what did we get from that last book of Nagesh actually was it the research rate in Canopic Jars generation I think it was yeah Okay. Either way, we're still saving our Canopic Jars. So that we can get a new army in the future. But uh, yeah, my plan at the moment is to have uh, King, King Thutep and Setra take you attack. And the reason I'm doing that is so we can replenish these armies. And then we can move back up uh, towards uh, Clan Moors afterwards with those armies. Alright, let's end the turn. This could hurt this turn because we will get attacked by like three different armies in three different areas, which really sucks. We'll just speed up our um, Law Masters and we'll slow it down at Clan Moors. Nice, Temple Avenue of Gold going to be attacked. Honestly, I'm just going to auto resolve it. Not much point.
at least we can expel clan wars from the continent now. Wasn't something that I had originally planned on doing. But uh, since they're going to be little shits about it, we will crush them. And then we will move on to our last couple of books of Nagash. Pirates of Sartosa coming in strong with an army towards Zandri. Uh, but are not going to attack us. So they're moving up to Al Haik to just be a pain in the ass. Okay, fair enough. Let's speed up the rest. All right, King Wakaf gained a trait and sediment looted. Okay, runic inscriptions is complete. And imminent rebellion. Where is that? Well, it's not a serpent coast. We need to make sure we build the obelisk here. Actually, I can't build the obelisk there if I want to have walls. That's awkward. Let's get rid of this building. We'll get the... Oh, we already have an obelisk here. Well, let's just get that maxed out. And we'll build the walls here and stop the cancel on that. Oh, I'll just upgrade the port there as well. Hopefully it will be safe. Actually, let's not do that just in case it does get attacked. Pretty sure Orion's camp is like the most undefended settlement. Yeah, it doesn't have... A garrison. How retarded is that? Well, let's uh, move into you attack. And uh, we will continue the siege. We'll bring up King Thutep. And I will make sure that that goes smoothly. Alright, I might just uh, auto resolve this. That was risky. I was almost lost some units then, but. We didn't. We're going to occupy it. And, uh... You attack is ours. Why can we not build in it? Wait, what? Why can I not build here? What's going on? Ah, okay. <laughs> that was weird. I'll just have to do it this way. Um, why is it not letting me build anything? That's weird. So we do have a mortiferous sanctuary here already, which is nice. We have the alchemy workshop, which is fine. Uh, Royal burial chamber. Let's uh, make sure we build a skeletal garrison. And we will also go for the channel plaza, just so that we get the extra movement range off the bat. Okay. The day of King Qtep has leveled up because of that. And I'm just going to go towards Woundmaker, I think. Or full plate armor, if I accidentally click on that. That's fine. Cetra needs to level up and get his arcane conduit. Fantastic stuff. Research is available. I think it's possibly time to start heading towards the Wisdom of the 6th Dynasty or the 4th Dynasty. Let's go for Wisdom of the 6th Dynasty. This guy loves his chariots, so we can uh, build a nice chariot army. Right, Imminent Rebellion is at uh, Kuizothal. Okay. Let's hit this with an assault unit. And that was a success. Unassigned skill points. We'll put it towards the assault units perk. Fantastic. Right, Rakash is on his way down. I guess we'll have to use him to defend Dorian's camp. I can't even build defensive buildings here. That's the most stupid thing about it. So I haven't upgraded it very much. Okay, so we can sort of catch up to this 
these pirates, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're just going to attack Al Haik soon. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to zoom up to their homelands and uh, attack them at Sartosa. I'm hoping that King Setep's army is good enough to do so. But that's all of our armies moved. We can't build another army yet, I don't believe. Nope. So we're just waiting. Waiting on the Canopic Jars. And we're waiting now on the technology as well. So maybe if we're lucky we'll get like two army capacity at the same time and then we'll build two new armies. That would be absolutely fantastic. Maybe one just after the other would be better so that I can use both local recruitment and global recruitment in my main settlement for both. So I'm glad they're just taking this attrition. It's actually working out quite nicely. They are going to take Serpent Coast though. And uh, it seems as though the balance of power is kind of in our favour. Spotted only at very close range. Interesting. And two units of Nehekara warriors hold the choke, because I'm pretty sure this will be a choke point map. Never mind. It is not. Hmm. Guess it could even be better for the Nehekara warriors. I don't know, let's just auto resolve it. Alright, not too much else to see, I don't think. Maybe just uh, have a look at where the Pirates of Sartosa send their army. Yeah, they're going to go towards Al Haik. It looks like I'm going to be in range to attack them, though, which would be good. All right, stray slaves lost to the desert or living servants. I think we may as well just go for living, living servants at this rate. Because nobody likes us anyway. Let's just get the extra growth going. Okay, um, Orion's camp. I think King Rakash is going to be just in range to help defend that if it gets attacked. So we'll make sure that we don't lose that. Uh, Kuizotl is good for now against this rebellion that's popping up. Um, Setra is busy replenishing. Uh, let's maybe move up towards uh, Zlatlan here. Or we could head round and down. That could be a better idea. And just take the settlements on the way. Yeah, let's maybe do that. Why is he not getting any replenishment? Oh, there's hinder replenishment for three turns. Well, that's just annoying, isn't it? Can we recruit a dude to deal with that? No. Okay. Well, that's just kind of sucky. I might as well just keep him with uh, Setra then. Alright, uh, King Wakaf. Uh, it's just out of range. I'm going to have to get onto land here. Otherwise he's going to attack Al Haik. Alright, King Setter is uh, very close to Sartosa. Let's uh, sort of zoom up here. And yeah, we're going to go this way. So they have halberdiers, great swords, hand gunners, empire knights, and mortars. That is going to be a pretty horrific battle for us. The only way that I can see us winning is if we get on top of those mortars, but we don't have anything to do that. Which 
Should have probably picked up the mysterious island, but I guess we can get it on the way back. Pick up all these treasures on the way back down. Varish and Kofa are both safe. Uh, Lashik needs to be upgraded. Sorcerer's Islands are fine. Um, Wizard Caliph's Palace, maybe not so much, but uh, it's a long way down. Thinking what I want to build. Let's go for a quick sand swamp. And I may as well upgrade these to grave ports. I will spend most of my cash. I'm going to hit this with an assault unit. And that was a failure. But uh, we did level up. Continue with Canopic Jar Hoarder. And we will end the turn. So we're definitely having to be pretty careful about how we do this. Zorian's camp just under siege? I think it is just under siege. Okay. We're well, moving up to the Temple of Skulls. But all the while they're taking lots and lots of damage. Which is nice. That attrition is uh, doing well for us at the moment. I'm not sure quite how long it lasts for, but it's definitely doing a lot of damage. I didn't see where the Pirates of Sartosa went. I'm going to have to work that out myself. Alright, let's have a look, shall we? Where did they go? Ah, they went back the other way. Well, back we go then. And all the while... We're going to jump onto land and siege Sartosa. In the next turn, apparently. Alright, Cetra can attack and take Dawn's Light. I might just attack it with his army and not the backup. Okay, good. And we'll just keep King Thutep nearby. Alright, so with him levelling up again, I think it's time to go down the Indomitable Will. Or even just finish off Canopic Jar Hoarder first. Which is very important to make sure that we have those. And we'll get Tomb Strike for our Necrotect here. Okay. King Rakash is able to attack uh, this army and uh, we can just wipe them out should we go for the extra replenishment? no Right, I'm just going to zoom round towards the Golden Tower and take that back, I think. But meanwhile, we need to level this chap up. He's currently got Sunscorch Bones maxed out. Let's go for the bonuses to Scorpion units. For our mage or lich priest we'll go for the net to be useful for our archers and uh, Prince Sekov can uh, start hitting this army with an assault units right, that was a success that's good because he's not going to be able to replenish and that means the uh, rebellion there will be a lot weaker fantastic All right, let's start leveling up these probably pretty important Lost Plateau is the next one in line so we'll go and upgrade that uh, Temple of Skulls I was going to get the walls going here but I guess it's too late for that uh, 
Gaven will not trouble me. Okay. We don't have an obelisk here. So that's something I'm going to invest upon. As we will want to remove this Skaven corruption. I'm just really hoping to free up these armies up north soon. Otherwise, it's going to take us a little while to deal with Clan Moors. Let's not spend too much more cash uh, other than on places that really need it. Okay, so... Not there. Maybe the Springs of Eternal Life. Nope. Um, Teotihuacan doesn't matter. Can we cancel that? No, we can't. Uh, let's just build it up at U Attack. It's going to make that garrison much stronger. And we will end the turn. So we're going to just be trading settlements by the looks of things. Which is really frustrating. But, uh, oh well. At the end of the day, we can just occupy, take them back for more canopic jars, and uh, that's fine by me. Looks like Queek Head Takers can actually attack. Maybe. Nope, just sieging. Sieging's fine, because they're going to take attrition at the end of the turn anyway. And it seems that Queek's army's already got a lot smaller due to attrition. Seriously, what is this army doing? I guess after we take Sartosa, I'll just bring the other army back down and we can try and deal with them that way. It might force them to attack as well. Okay. So, Cetra is now moving towards Gragkoll. And we're going to have King Thutep keep up. Uh, you attack is all good to go. Let's uh, zoom up north here. Is this in range to attack? No. I'm just going to have to get on land again just in case they attack. We're just going to have to keep doing that while I go and attack Sartosa. Unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Next time around, what we'll do is the uh, Siege of Sartosa. Um, we will like actually attack that because I don't have the... I don't have the, the Siege equipment to actually assault it straight away. So we'll just Siege it. Uh, next couple turns, we'll actually take Sartosa and then we'll move on from there uh, take out the Pirates of Sartosa army be able to bring those armies down south or maybe even just send them off to get our next book of Nagash who knows but uh, that's all hopefully you guys have enjoyed it thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode goodbye